Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're connecting. I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, enjoying the, an exciting event we're all a part of. My name is Zoe Zaitseva. I'm a part of the QS Quacquarelli Simmons company and we're in multiple health there. I'm an innovations manager at QS as a company. I'm also head of partnerships at QS uh, Impact Charity. And I'm also uh, a secretary at the UN Prime Working Group on Climate Change and Environment, among many other things. So uh, I feel very flattered that I was invited today to share some of the work that we do at QS with and for young people from around the world who are not necessarily passionate about sustainability, but even remotely curious about sustainability. But probably before we jump into the whole shebang, what uh, the Future 17 is about, I'll give you a little bit of my own story. Um, how do you end up working for the world leading company in high education that produces their most influential world university rankings, uh, hosts uh, tons of data and works with dozens of governments and ministries around the world? Uh, if somebody asked me when I was 15 or 16 if Korean education was my aspiration, that's a little bit nah. Um, that wasn't something even remotely close to what I thought I'd be doing in life. However, um, with my first work as a, a career consultant in a test prep company, that was a new whole new discovery where learning for experience, learning through networking with business professionals, with young professionals, with universities and business schools, um, helped me discover the whole world of education that expands well beyond your classical education, your degree education, but has so many facets you can't even imagine. And one of the things I'm personally very proud of being a part of QS for many, many years is that our company set up over 30 years ago hasn't changed our mission since day one. It's all about supporting young people around the world to achieve their best through education, mobility and career development. And what you might discover already, because all of you here are a part of this wonderful world of education, of international education, is the number of doors it opens for you. So you are all placed in a fantastic uh, cross, uh, cross path of your life where you can make the most of your educational opportunities, of your networking opportunities, but also setting up the path for the future. And PS touches lives of millions and millions of students around the world. Our annual traffic exceeds 53 million unique visitors per annum. And we have, you know, engagements with thousands of universities and governments. What I would like to highlight for all of you, whenever you're listening to this great sessions today during the uh, uh, impactful, yes, uh, game-changing uh, forum, Try to listen with open mind. You never know what will be the next trigger for you personally and where you would end up in two, three, or five years. So PS as a partner for higher education has things in lots of different pies. One thing that uh, I believe, and that was a note, actually one of the things we've discussed with the organizers before the session, what are the hints for the future? Not what's happening today, but what are the hints for the future? What's needed for the future? And I would, I would say that agility and flexibility, but also your ability to see bigger picture are key to any career you choose to pursue. And once again, explore the industries. You might think that company X is just doing one thing, but if you talk to the alums, if you talk to the current employees, you'll discover many wonderful things. Same as many people think QS is just about the rankings, whilst in fact it's much more. We work with the governments, we work with companies, we develop systems for 
uh, high education systems to, to assess themselves, lots and lots of different things. Also, the commitment to sustainability is one of the indicators that young people are looking for at the moment. There was an interesting survey published about uh, a year ago, and I strongly encourage you to explore it, that as of today, young people around the world are prepared to sacrifice up to 20% of their earnings in order to work at a company that is aligned with their values. And that's something that, again, exploring the future of work is something uh, you should probably have in mind. So Kias has been committed to uh, social impact since the day one, and we've been running our scholarships since 2003. If you are just finishing your undergrad studies and thinking about continuing with master's or MBA, please apply to OQS Impact Scholarships. But also remember, each one of them highlights and rewards the applicants who have demonstrated strong social impact. And these are just some of the examples of the impact projects that uh, Life Impact Charity, sorry, QS Impact Charity delivers around the world. Any student, any young person from anywhere in the world can join these projects, and that will be your brownie point uh, for university business school applications, scholarship applications, but also a true impact that you would deliver with your own hands and brains and talent in different parts of the world. But getting back to experiential learning and what are the skills needed for tomorrow, uh, since pandemic, obviously, there is a growing gap between companies' expectations of skills they expect young professionals to possess and opportunities of, for young people to actually gain this life work experience. So what Kiosk has come up with um, about three years ago is how do we bring work experience into your curriculum? So as of now, we've got a multitude of universities from around the world, and you can see some of them here on the slide, working together where each university selects up to 100 students who are interested in sustainability. It doesn't matter what they study. We had nurses, we had architects, we had social scientists, environmental scientists, engineers. As long as the student is interested in sustainability, they can join the program. And then on the other hand, we have a port of tasks, projects submitted by companies, governments, charities, startups, requiring students to work on them. And the organization submitting the challenge is committed to execute the recommendations delivered by student team within the next six to 12 months. These are just some of the examples. Uh, I hope you can figure out some of them. So you, there are projects from... Capgemini from UN, EU, Lipton T, they are very different in nature, they are very different in impact, but one common denominator, any person, any student who's been working on this uh, project is del del not just delivering, but also developing an SDG literacy skill. And if you keep track on the employer's reports and analytics, you might have spotted that SDG literacy is becoming a thing. It's becoming a skill that universities uh, are expected to provide their students with. And that's a whole big discussion what SDG literacy means. But uh, if anybody is interested, come join climate literacy training that we deliver on the UN Prime Working Group. It's absolutely free and it's fascinating content. But what's more important is what, what employers think of the skills that students demonstrate while working on this experiential learning project. And on the left, you see the uh, expectations and satisfaction. So the dark blue is the satisfaction. Um, of course, there is always area for improvement, but I think it's pretty interesting that employers who join the program will pretty much always highlight the same skills that they expect to see in young graduates that they recruit. And we're talking about international intercultural communication skills, organizational skills, teamwork, um, and something that you would normally see at the bottom of the list historically, right? But now the soft skills becoming crucial, especially if you intend to join 
uh, anything to do with AI. It's not just the tech skills, but it's also your ability to understand the bigger picture, collaborate with your uh, colleagues who are located anywhere around the world, but also apply the ethics that AI requires and working with AI requires. So when we're talking about um, the project that students are a part of, there are lots of different opportunities. Students come together. They don't know. In one team, you'll have students from Tech de Monterey, Arizona State University, Auckland, and University of Exeter. You'll have two bachelors. You'll have two masters. You'll have one MBA and three PhDs. And all together, they work on something that might have impact on their own country, on something that might have an impact on the whole industry. So to all of you here, thinking, oh, where do I go? Where is the so what is the social impact about? What can I do? I strongly encourage you to go back to your universities and ask, what are the experiential learning programs you can offer me today while I'm still at the university? Because all the future 17 programs are being delivered as a part of a curricula, September to December or January to May, right? And universities can decide whether they want to run for credit or non-credit, um, but the idea is that you get this work experience while you're still studying. You spend this eight weeks working with a very diverse team of peers from around the world, experiencing what you will experience when you hit the job market. And at the same time, you're creating impacts. You're creating some wonderful solutions. Okay, we can skip this one. And this is just one of the examples uh, from Singapore, a company that serves four and five star global hotel chains, um, has analyzed that every month each hotel dumps tons and tons of uh, used soul bars because, you know, you come to the hotel, you stay for a couple of days and you continue on your journey, the soul bar lives, uh, stays behind. So the company came up with a solution that recycles the soul bars, produces new soul bars and distributes them among the orphanages, uh, shelters, uh, refugee camps, and other people in need. So our students of Future 17 were developing a solution for them how to enter the European market and Brazilian market. And there are many other pro uh, projects and examples. I, I think what I'll try to do now is I'll stop sharing and um, probably would love to shift to um, the part where I'd like to ask all of you a question. What is your biggest social impact? And it doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter where you're located. Because if you give yourself enough time, if you sit back and reflect on your social impact, the answer to this question might be crucial to the next job interview you have or it will help you prepare an essay if you're applying for the MBA or whatever program might come up next. Because as of today, October 2023, social impact and SDG literacy are the key topics, key cornerstones of recruitment, of career development, and hopefully a very positive footprint each one of you will leave during your career life cycle. Thank you very much for your time. I wish you all the best. Good luck in your endeavors. And I hope to meet some of you either at the Future 17 or through the QS Impact Scholarships. Thank you so much and all the best.